Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And this time, I've got myself a few paints, some uh, burnt umber, because I want to do a... Uh, going to do a, a bit of a cabin. I've got some black, uh, some sea blue, ultramarine blue. Ultram ultramarine. Some... Uh, <laughs> I can't think of the colour now. Alizarin Crimson. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of a warm sky. It's going to be a winter scene. This is my warm colours. My Alizarin Crimson, my Lemon Yellow, my Yellow Ochre. A little bit of that in that. You make Cadmium Yellow. C kind of, anyway. It looks like that. And then Titanium White, which I'm not sure how much I need. Because I find when I use black as a base, because I'm going to use this black card. <coughs> It's actually a sketchbook that I'm using. Um, people use them for scrapbooks, but they work great for sketching in as well. And I've got myself a drink. Got myself a nice cup of tea I'm having while I'm painting to keep warm <laughs> and uh, and dry. <laughs> I say that because it's been a bit wet round here. Um, so anyway, let's uh, let's just get going with this. It's a little bit of blue, tiniest bit of water. When I use uh, water with acrylic paint, I barely use any. I don't don't feel like I need much water. Just enough. You like dip the very corner of the brush in, like that very corner. I'll just go into the water. So, my horizon is going to be about here, so I need this blue to go along there. And then what I'm going to do is get a little bit of this crimson in with the blue. Okay, uh, sort of a, a lavendery colour. Crimson, a bit of blue, a bit of white. And put that on. I'm going to sort of bring it into this blue. got a bit of a cold so I'm trying not to cough <laughs> I've only just got my voice it's, it's really annoying but never mind we can still paint we can still do it some white and some yellow I might go for some of this lemon yellow and a little bit of crimson because like that just to warm it up a bit might use this as my warm bright color. I'm going to use it around here so I can have this going Look along there and then going across like this. And I can go into that red as well. And then I can put that in, go into a bit more of the crimson get some of that red in there so all I'm doing is uh, grabbing a bit more crimson as I go looking at my painting and thinking about it how it looks this is how I want it to look do I want it to have a bit more warmth to it maybe a bit more warmth up here maybe 
below that whole area. And then use the uh, use the the white and the yellow and get like a good amount on the brush so you can put it on thicker. And that way it's not gonna be able to see through it. That can be the problem with using the black is uh, if you're using the thin paint that you might use on like a white paper and you can get away with it doing that. When you're using the black you need to have a bit thicker, a bit thicker paint. Have a little bit of light down here as well. <clears throat> Just wash my brush a little bit. Probably should have gone a bit further actually with that light. We're having it go out there. So it goes. That looks quite good. I do like doing these warm skies. I'm going to pick up some uh, ultramarine blue now. And with that colour, a bit of uh, water in it because it's. The ultramarine blue is quite dry, really. This one is, anyway. It's quite dry because it's been in the tube for so long. <laughs> Let's put a little bit here. Go a little bit stronger blue up here. Can let that connect to that red. So the only thing you want to avoid is a green. So if you have like the red as a barrier to your yellow, you won't get the green unless you want a bit of green in there. It's your painting in the end. At the end of the day, it's your painting. You might want it to have a green look to it. So I might get a bit of crimson actually and just dance a bit of colour in there. bit more white in the blue don't want it to disappear too much as it dries it sometimes can do that it's just that old thing that I just said before you need to put a bit more paint on I can, make, I can blend that a little bit white and red probably need a bit more red than that that's a bit better let's get a bit of that color in there That's quite nice. Bit in there as well. <laughs> Can do that along there just to soften that a bit. Let's 
Something like that. And then what I want to do is I want to go that little bit lighter. Get some uh, this touch of red, touch of yellow, and then some white. Let's go for this lightest part, say about there maybe. Bit there, bit there. Might even have some under there. So you can change your mind and change things and just kind of thought it looked quite good to sort of straighten that almost there. Quite like that. I don't really need my yellow ochre that I put on the palette unless I use it for um, some windows or something. That looks pretty good. Just get a little bit of the red and yellow, and I might. Just build that up a little bit there. Something like that. Come wash my brush. I might just put a little bit of blue at the top here. Oh, that looks nice. So I can leave that to dry. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some black. Yeah, I might just use black to start with. And I'll put some shapes in here, like there's a few trees and things. You can either push your brush up or you can just tap the brush like that. Wherever you want trees, you put your trees in. Have it going all the way along there. <clears throat> Have another drink. Can't concentrate too much on the painting because my tea will go cold. <laughs> so I have to make sure I drink it before that happens. Oh, that happens so much when you're painting. <clears throat> right, I might put a little bit of uh, snow on the ground. The uh, sea blue and the ultramarine blue. You can use cerulean blue instead of that, or you don't even need it if you don't want it. And we'll go for our blue for the ground, somewhere like this maybe. Maybe a bit, a bit white in it. Throwing a little bit of white in it. See what it looks like when it dries anyway. Something like this. Use my finger just to Soften that edge at the top. I 
Now I'm going to keep this really blue down here. So I want to put in a little bit of a cabin. I was going to put it here. It'll be okay there. So I want a little bit of burnt umber and black to create a, uh, a dark brown. Nice. And then we'll have our. I'll have my cabin about there, I think. So you really just be painting a triangle and then a, a rectangle or a square underneath. And you imagine the roof goes down and that goes down and it sort of goes probably about there. So to find out the middle of the cabin, you do a cross like that. And then you can see the middle should be about there. So that's probably there. And then you can look at your angle. See how right it is. <laughs> I'm not too worried, to be honest. <coughs> leave that a minute that's gonna dry now so I want like a blue roof so I can get some of this blue and white still want it to be to the blue side just a bit lighter than what's in the background so the roof is say about there kept it quite nice and blue but you can see it and I'm going to pick up a bit more blue here and I'm going to put it on the uh, the wood of the building it's still a little bit wet actually but that's alright just a hint of blue on the building A little less on this side because I might as well have a darker side. So I need to bring that snow up more forward, I should say. So we want that snow to come along here. smudge that together a little bit so under there Some nice blues in there. I 
all the way back there as well. I can always lighten the roof a little bit more. I just want to make sure that this all goes together really. It's looking pretty nice. And then we can have a little bit more white and blue and I can, I can kind of have a bit of a hill sort of there. Maybe sort of push that to there as well. Could have this sort of going along there. Keep it blue, but I just want to make sure that it's uh, showing a separation between there and there. A bit more blue and white, I can do this as well. Maybe I could have a bit of a, uh, maybe I can have a bit of a path that comes out of there. Maybe I can get a little bit of white on it. You can uh, you can play with color. The reason I'm using a lot more blues and down here is I don't want it to get too light down here because of the sky. I want to have that blue and coolness down at the bottom, and then keep that warmness at the top. sort of try and send it back so it's not too hard of a mark there <coughs> it's definitely looking a lot better so going to uh, add a bit more snow to the roof so I could just get a bit of white and blue. So I want to keep that blue, but I want it to be to be able to see the difference between the roof and the ground. The brown is nicely uh, dried now. That's looking pretty good. Let's make sure I've got that about right.
Oh, that cabin's looking quite nice. I'm going to put a little bit of a window in it. Use this little brush. Gonna get a little bit of yellow and red. Bit of yellow and red. I'm just gonna go blip for the window. And then I'll have a window. On, I'm going to have a, a window here where the door is going to be. Maybe it's got like a glass bit there. It'd be quite good, wouldn't it? And maybe there's another window that goes there. This goes here. Maybe it goes there. If you've never done these little cabins before, have a go. They're, they're quite easy, really. When you first try them, you might find it hard, but then a couple of goes, you'll be able to do these, no problem. I have a window there as well. use a little bit of black on this liner which is quite easy to load you just twizzle it I'm going to use that just to paint my door in sills as well. If I want to straighten things up a little bit you can use it. There might even be room for a, another one up there. Another one of those there and then get some dark dark brown I might just paint in a few marks for the wood Some dark underneath there. Bit dark under there as well. I'll just use my finger to pull that down a bit. Something like that. And then we've got this bit of a path which I'm going to kind of light up. Might put a little bit of this colour there and there, and then a bit on the snow there. Just a tiny bit. I've got a little bit of white and I just want to have this path lit up a bit so you can see it and then the uh, I 
a bit, the one might be lit up with that bit blue. Something like that. And I might put a few fence posts in. Maybe there's a a few fence posts. Maybe there's one there. Right there. Maybe the fence goes along there. And there's a few there as well. Maybe I can take that all the way off, all the way over there. Maybe he was trying to keep something in that field, <laughs> or maybe something in this field. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Not quite sure. You can make that up, can't you? Whatever you want. I might put a tree in. Just looking and I'm thinking, hmm, it might be quite good to have a tree in there. A bit more snow there. I was thinking maybe about here. Maybe there's a tree there. I might just put a, uh, actually I might do them like this, have it grow in there, maybe just put a few, a few little things on the tree, have it coming right down there, maybe another one. there as well. Yeah, that's quite nice. I might put one over here as well. So it goes right. Yeah, something like that. A little bit of black and I can put in a few branches and stuff on the edge of these trees. Put another one there. Yeah, something like that. That's quite good. Gives us another layer, doesn't it? Then, and it's up to you whether you wanted to put a bit of snow on there. I'm tempted. The only thing I'm tempted to do. Maybe have a bit of light hitting somewhere. I could have it hitting the back of this. Maybe the top of this. Or maybe I should leave that blue. Mm. Yeah. 
the only thing now is probably this needs straighten up a bit it's quite good I quite like this actually I might just leave it as it is maybe put in a uh, chimney back here and then a bit of snow on the chimney and then that'll do yeah could put some snow on the fence to add a bit of detail I could leave it I think I'll leave it I think I'm quite happy with this it looks pretty cool he's uh he's at home just keep him warm and he's at the back of this looking out looking at the amazing sky and I could always if I want to I could always add a little bit of red around the windows just to add a little bit of a glow in the windows something that works nice So I hope these little tips help you out and you're enjoying your painting like me and I'll say thanks very much for watching and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.